Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I just got up. If you couldn't tell. I'm trying to figure out what I should wear because I'm doing the second part to a color correction and it might get messy. So I don't want to wear anything like too nice. I feel like this could be cute. I think this is going to be the fit. Levi's jeans. And then this top is super old from H&M. I think for shoes, I'll just wear my Oswego's. If you're new here, I am in the process still of moving into a new apartment. Same town, just different side of town. I've been sleeping on an air mattress because I don't have my bed yet, but I've been staying here and I'm so grateful this morning that I am because I'm so much closer to work from here. So that buys me a little more time in the morning, which is nice. So today I have two clients. One is a highlight haircut, just like a maintenance appointment. I've done her hair before. And then the second one, like I said, I'm gonna be doing part two of a color correction. So if you guys saw my last vlog, I shared the first session with you. I'm just gonna do a full head of highlights on her today. And I'm just gonna try to get her as blonde all over as possible. Depending what time I get done with everything, I might tone my hair before I leave because it is already starting to fade and I feel like it just looks really flat right now. So I feel like it needs a gloss to refresh the color and add shine and just like richen it up some more. I have a new hair tool actually that I really want to try out. So maybe we will do that later. Perfume. Didn't have time to actually make breakfast, but I can bring oatmeal with me. Hello, it is the next day. It's actually already almost five o'clock. So I am gonna leave soon. I was just getting ready. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned it already, but my friends are having a Super Bowl party at their house. So even though I am not a football person, but I'm very excited to watch Usher do the halftime show and you know see the commercials and all that and like it's just a, a excuse to get together with my friends but it's just been a chill sunday i got a lot of stuff around the apartment done which i will show you but i just put a little bit of makeup on and oh here is my hair color i'm trying like to figure out what my filming setup is going to be like in this bathroom my getting ready bathroom so we're doing like a mirror shot so here is the tool we're gonna be using, this is the Coanda Hair Styler by Libri Paris. And they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So let's unbox this baby. I saw a bunch of videos of people using this. First of all, the packaging is like so luxurious. I just have to show you how beautiful. Oh my God gorgeous so if you've never heard of this brand before they're a french luxury beauty brand Ooh, i love that this comes with a bunch of stuff so you have the actual air styler tool in here this is supposed to dry 
and smooth and style your hair all in one. It comes with a heat resistant glove, which I love, that's great. And then it also comes with two alligator clips. You have your three different attachments. So this is the dryer attachment. And then these are the two curler attachments. So one will blow the air in one direction, the other will blow it in the other direction. So if you want like both sides to go away from your face, you have to swap out for each side of your head. What's great about this tool is that it uses Kawanda technology. So you're literally just styling your hair with air. There's no like direct heat, so no heat damage. So I read on their website that they recommend using this on hair that is 85% dry. Mine right now is 100% dry. So I'm going to put a little bit of mousse in my hair to wet it a little bit, but also so that way it'll give me a little bit of hold. This is just the Goldwell Ultra Volume Top Whip Mousse. I'm gonna just run a little bit of that through the mids and ends. Since my hair's dry, I don't need to use the dryer attachment, but I do want to just test it out and see how loud it is and what the power is like. You can see here you have your on off switch and then it looks like there's three different temperature settings. So that's on cold, medium, high. It is pretty powerful and it gets decently hot, but not like burning hot. These are labeled left and right. So I'm gonna start with the left side. I might need to wet my hair a little bit more, but we'll see how this works. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to wet my hair. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my fingers and just add a little more moisture. I thought the mousse was gonna get it a little more wet, but it didn't. <laughs> okay, that should be better. There is moisture in there now. hold it for three to eight seconds. I'm gonna do the rest of this section on the left side. That is so fun and it's very easy to use like you just have to hold it close to the hair and it will just automatically start wrapping so that is how the bottom section looks i'm going to pop this off i'm going to put the other one When I curl my hair, I usually hold it like this. I don't like to go up like that, so I'm wondering if I put the left attachment back and then hold it this way, if that'll work. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that better. Look at that volume. All right, let's do the top section because that's gonna obviously be the most important. I'm just gonna get the ends a little bit damp. I am going to section the front pieces out of the way because I wanna do those together as one piece. So I'm gonna do 
the rest of this hair the same way I did the bottom section. And honestly, on the left side, I'm gonna just hold it up like this, and then when I do the right side, I'm gonna hold it down like this. That way I don't have to swap out the attachments. Look at that volume. I love it. Oh, so cute. So here's how the hair looks after. I really like that a lot. It was really easy to use. It gave my hair great volume. I feel like especially if you want the look of like a bouncy salon blowout, but you don't know how to do that yourself, this is an amazing tool. And even if you do know how to give yourself a blowout at home, like I do, I still see myself using this to refresh my hair like a day or two later without having to put like direct heat or use like a curling iron or anything like that. And I will say, even though it came with the heat resistant glove, I obviously, as you saw, didn't use it. And there were many times where I was touching the actual barrel directly with my fingers. And like, yeah, it's hot, but it's not like with a curling iron, if I touched it directly, it would literally burn my skin. But this, it's like, it's hot to the touch, but it's not burning you. So I will have a link and a discount code in the description if you guys want to go check out the Libri Paris Air Styler. I love that. I'm so excited to play around. Like, now that I have new hair, you know, it's always so fun to try out different styles and use new tools on it. I will also show you my hair after i get home later tonight but i should probably be leaving soon i just want to show you really quick the things that i did today i got the kitchen all cleaned up i put everything away so here's how it's looking out here oh i just love how much counter space i have and then over here the most exciting part I started setting up my coffee bar station. Ah, oh my God, I love it. I still have my little like regular Mr. Coffee machine at the old apartment, so I'm gonna put that there. But I have my Nespresso machine, my espresso machine, and these shelves are from Amazon, my Nespresso pods. This jar is from Ikea. These jars are from Amazon. I need to fill them up, obviously. But I'm gonna have all my coffee in there. And these are airtight, so it'll stay fresh in there. And then I just have some stuff up there. This fake plant is from Ikea. And then I hung another one of those shelves in the master bathroom. And I put that plant and the reed diffuser up there. I might maybe put one more thing like a decorative kind of thing. Not sure, but it's good for now. But it cleared this area, and I like how that looks so much better. It was just feeling really cluttered before. But yeah, I'm gonna head over to my friends, watch the Super Bowl. I will see you when I get back home, and I will show you how my hair looks after a few hours. Turn it up. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Honestly, the entire first half of the game, I wasn't even anywhere near the TV, wasn't paying attention. I was just catching up with my girlfriends. And then we went over to obviously watch the Usher halftime show because that's what I was the most excited about. And it was 
so good i loved it all of the guests that he had oh my god it was just it was so good we were all rooting for san francisco but yeah you know but i am in bed well on the air mattress <laughs> and i have my skincare on and i was about to get comfy and go to bed and then i realized that i didn't show you my hair which now I had it pulled back in my headband, so I kind of messed it up a little bit, but it held up pretty well. I mean, it still looks basically the same, like the curls held. So yeah, very happy with that air styler. I am going to watch The Sopranos, because that is... The show that I've been currently binging, it's my boyfriend's favorite show of all time and he's been wanting me to watch it for a very, very long time and now it's like the 25 year anniversary and I feel like I've just been seeing so much of it and like there's been so many references recently on social media so I was like, okay, you know what, this is finally, like I'm gonna finally watch it and I'm at the beginning of season five now. It's been the perfect thing like throughout this move because as I've been like unpacking and putting stuff away, like I just throw it on and it's just so good. And I really didn't think that I was gonna like it this much. So I am gonna watch that for a little bit and then go to sleep. This coffee bar really makes me so happy. It's funny because last night, one of the things me and my friends were talking about was our natural circadian rhythm. Is that the right term I'm thinking of? The four of us are all kind of different. My one friend wakes up really early and she was saying how she can't sleep in even if she tries, but she also goes to bed super early. And then my other friend, like, she wakes up early, but then she stays up late. And I don't know, like, we're all just different. Whereas me, I was saying that I, I go with the sunlight. When the sun rises and it's, like, bright in my room, I will wake up. Naturally, no problem. And then when the sun sets, I start getting tired. So then on gloomy days, like today, I have a really hard time getting up in the morning. Because, like, sometimes they'll want to do these workout classes, like, early in the morning. Or they'll want to go see the sunrise at the beach. And I'm like, that sounds so great. And, like, I want to join you guys, but like I just physically can't. If I force myself to wake up before the sun has come up, I feel so physically sick. Like middle school and high school, those years where I had to be up at like 5.30 in the morning to catch the school bus, it was rough. And I just remember thinking like, oh my God, I can't wait to be an adult and be done with school. And like, I need to have a job where I can make my own schedule or like at least not have to be up at the crack of dawn because like it's just not natural for me and I've always been that way my whole life. It's just interesting how we were just talking about it last night and like today it's rainy and dark and gross out and I'm like oh, having a rough time. It's 10 o'clock and my friends are going off in the group chat already. Their days have already gotten going and I'm just having my coffee now. Anyway, luckily today I didn't really need to be up super early, but on the agenda today I have a wax appointment in about an hour and a half. I need to hop in the shower soon and get ready for that. And that is over on the other side of town where my old place is. So after my appointment, I'm gonna head there, load up my car as much as I can. I'm gonna go finish my coffee and get ready for the day. I'll check in with you later. Oh my god, I am out of freaking breath. Going up and down the stairs at the old apartment and then up and down the stairs here. <sighs> Honestly though, after I'm done moving, I'm gonna have to actually go back to the gym in order to get my exercise. That's gonna suck. <laughs>
got most of what I brought over unpacked. I mostly brought over more kitchen stuff. And at this point, like 99% of my kitchen at the old place is empty. And I feel good now that I have all of my cooking utensils and all of my pots and pans and my real plates. I feel like I can actually start cooking real meals here. And I brought over this shoe rack and put some shoes on it. I have one other shoe rack for my boots that I'm gonna put either over there or back there, but I just didn't have room in my car this time. Closet is almost done though. Since the last time I recorded, I wash and dried the shower curtain, so I got that hung up, and I brought over my plunger, and I got that new toilet brush from the Dollar Tree. The guest bathroom is basically done now. I still have yet to take a bath in that tub, but I am dying to do so because it's huge like i don't know if it translates on camera but it's so deep and it just looks so nice i'll do that one of these days the thing is like i lately have been doing so much physical stuff throughout the day that by the time the sun sets i am so exhausted that i barely have the energy to just like wash my face and put my pajamas on so it's like the thought of taking a bath i'm like mm. sounds nice but i i just want to get in bed but yeah i think i'm gonna call it a night for today tomorrow i need to go to the grocery store and i really have been wanting to go check out home goods and we have a new home sense here now and maybe look in tj maxx as well i just kind of want to take a look and see like what little home decor kind of things i can find and most importantly the main thing that I want to look for is some sort of narrow table or cabinet to put along the wall back there. There's a cabinet from Amazon that I had saved to like my vision board for this apartment that I was originally planning on putting back there. But after measuring, I don't know if it's going to be too big and make that area feel a little bit too crowded. But when I was at my friend's house for the Super Bowl party last night, they had the most perfect little narrow entryway table. And she said that she found it recently at HomeSense. So I would love to get that same table or something similar. I just feel like that corner needs something. So that is the plan for tomorrow. I will see you in the morning. I need allergy medicine so badly right now oh but i wanted to show you this lotion that i got that i've been wearing the last couple days that smells amazing like heavenly the eos 24 hour moisturizer in the fresh and cozy scent i got this at target and i got it a while ago but i had packed it up right away because i was like oh let me save my new stuff for when i'm in the new apartment and i've been using it the last couple days and i'm like oh my god it smells so good i don't even know how to describe the scent even through my stuffy ass nose i can smell it and it's just like such a clean scent it reminds me of something familiar but I cannot pinpoint what it is. But yeah, next time you're at the store, go smell it and see what you think. I'm trying to find a good spot to put the camera so I can show you my outfit. Nothing crazy, but black jeans from Abercrombie, plain black tank top, cropped leather shirt is from Zara, Zara bag, and then I'm just wearing my target mules because they're easy and comfortable and i just blow dried my hair and i just kind of did a little flip on the ends and i am really feeling it like i am loving this color i feel like i finally got it to the perfect tone like this is exactly what i had been wanting all along and it's finally perfect i love it and i popped in some Amazon earrings. The hoops are Ana Luisa, but these little danglies are from Amazon. I, I feel really good today because it's really sunny out and it feels good to put like just a little 
bit of makeup on my face and like have my hair done and freshly washed and like have a cute outfit you know like i'm just feeling i'm feeling good about myself today i think i'm gonna go to home sense first because that is new they just opened it like a few months ago and i have yet to go there and if i find what i'm looking for great if not then we will go to home goods and tj maxx just left home sense it was basically just a big home goods i'm pretty sure it's all owned by the same company like home goods home sense tj maxx all those places but i found the exact table that my friend has but it was 250 dollars, and i don't know if i don't find anything else that i love i might end up just getting it but it's more than I was hoping and expecting it to be because it's like it's just a small narrow table with two little drawers so I don't know and then there was just like a plain table that didn't have any drawers and that was 180 which is better like I was hoping to spend under 200 and I liked that one but I don't know if I loved it because like the bottom the base of it is like kind of similar to the base of my dining table and I don't really love that like I don't want them right next to each other because I feel like that's just going to be overkill and it like I don't know it just wasn't it didn't really feel like 100% my style it's good to know that they are there and they were kind of like tucked away and hidden so hopefully if I do decide to go back to get it, it'll still be there. But now I am going to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. They're right next to each other. And I'm gonna see if they have anything else there. But I did get a lot of stuff at Home Sense, so I'll show you when I get home. I am home. Let me show you what I got. I a lot of these things now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I probably could have got at the dollar store. And I'm also now noticing that this is damaged. So I'm probably gonna return this. <laughs> But I wanted to get another garbage can with a lid for my bathroom in the master. Benny is very good about being left home alone and just being loose in the apartment. But I will say that is one thing for whatever reason, he loves to go through the garbage. Not the kitchen garbage, but like bedroom, bathroom garbages, like anything that has like used tissues in it or like q-tips i don't know weird the one that i had at the old place in my bathroom i put in the guest bathroom so now i had got this one for the other one i got these kitchen clips then i saw this this was like very random but i was like actually this could be really useful it is a grocery bag holder that you can mount behind a cabinet door or I mean wherever you want and I mean it probably doesn't fit that many but I tend to accumulate grocery bags and I usually just put them all in another bag. I don't know it takes up a lot of space so I thought that maybe this would be a good way to keep everything contained and then if it's completely full, I know like, okay, no more grocery bags. Start using your tote bags. Honestly, all of this stuff, I'm gonna just set aside and hold on to the receipt because I wanted to go back to the Dollar Tree anyway to get more organization bins. So I'm gonna look and see if I can find these things there for less, then I'll just return this stuff. But this little step stool, I thought this would be really good to keep in my closet. This I'm really excited about. This is so similar to the runner that I got for the hallway. But I wanted one in the kitchen because right now I have this old like small jute rug that I've had forever. It's a little bit too short for the kitchen. So I was like, I don't know if I find something that I like, great. If not, it's not a priority. But this, when I tell you it is the softest thing I have ever felt in my life. Like I want to use this as a blanket. It has grip on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about it sliding around and it's machine washable. So I just felt like that would be perfect. 
Oh, that feels so nice. Then I got some more dish towels. Since I was getting the new rug, I was like, oh, let me get ones that kind of match. So I got this three pack, white, a charcoal, gray and white with that same gray like threading simple but they feel like nice and thick and soft then i got some washcloths for the guest bathroom and then this is another thing that maybe i could find at the dollar tree for less they were four dollars each which isn't bad but these lazy susans i have one in the pantry already and it's been great and i just feel like since the shelves are kind of deep in there i wanted to get a few more of these just so it would make it easier to find stuff so that was everything that i got at home sense then for home goods i got this dog bed i think technically it's a, a crate cushion but i think this should be a good size for him it was 20 dollars, which i feel like is not bad it's very thick and good material and i got a light color so you won't see all of his hair on it and then i found a table and this is very similar to the one my friend has with the two drawers on top like small narrow but this one was 130 but i noticed that there's like two little scratch marks on the bottom which is literally not a big deal i'm going to take a black sharpie and fill it in and you won't even know. But I was like, hey, I noticed it's like a little damaged. So they took $10 off. Hey, I'm like, I'll take it, why not? You like your bed? You like it? Is it comfy? That's yours. That's Beanie's bed. Oh my gosh, yes, and that fits perfectly over my little robot vacuum it doesn't fully cover it but it hides it a little bit i did originally have it under here like under the coffee bar station but i like having his food stuff there because then it's out of the way but yeah that's how it looks the tape over here on the floor is where i had measured the one from amazon so it would have came out another couple of inches and it also would have been wider which then I feel like it would have, I don't know, maybe just been a little bit too close to the couch. Once the couch is there, that way now I have a little extra space so I can put like a little side table next to the couch or something. But I feel like that is a good size. The gold handles match the gold bar cart over on this side. So it kind of like brings the whole room together. And then I was gonna put this here, like in the corner. And then I have this from Amazon. And I'm just gonna put my Alexa. I don't wanna trigger yours if you have one. I'm just gonna put this on here. And then I have a lamp that has like a wooden base and clear glass up top that I was thinking I could put on that side and then it would tie in the clear glass from that vase. And I feel like that would look really cute. And I have this mirror that I was planning on mounting on the wall above it. I'm gonna wait for my couch to get here before I actually mount the mirror because I don't wanna commit to a placement just yet but it's cute and i really like how it goes with the chairs and the table it just like adds a little something and i feel like it's a good height and the best part is that it was a hundred dollars plus cheaper than the other ones i was considering and it's already assembled and it's lightweight and easy to move so one less piece of furniture for me to have to put together starting to come together more and more each day it is the next morning i just got ready really quick well not really i just like brushed my teeth washed my face put on some sunscreen i am heading over to the old apartment i'm gonna grab some more stuff fill up my car as much as i can and on my way i'm going to stop at dollar tree I'm gonna see if I can find any of those things I got at HomeSense yesterday 
if I can find it there for obviously cheaper. And I wanted to get a couple more like plastic storage bins. So that is the plan for the day. That's how I'm spending Valentine's Day because it's Valentine's Day today. I also have all these boxes here that I am going to bring with me. And I'm not gonna bother filming anything while I'm doing that because it's just gonna be a lot of back and forth. I wanna just grab as much as I can and just be in and out of there as quickly as I can. <sighs> I can't wait for this to be done. But I will see you when I get back later. I'm back. Oh my god. I just can't wait to be done with this. Like, I'm so sick of going up and down those stairs. And I completely overestimated the size of my car. Because I thought, oh, I don't have that much stuff left there. Like, I should be able to just load up my car one last time. And then all that will be left is the big furniture. But no. I am definitely gonna have to go back at least one more time and then I need to go back and clean obviously but I still have another couple of weeks thank god I am so glad I really was like gonna just take my time and go really slow with the whole move but I'm glad that I hit the ground running from day one because it is just taking so much longer than I thought it would because I'm so used to moving my stuff in one shot and getting it all done in like a weekend you know but i've always had a bunch of people to help me so when you're doing it by yourself it's a lot it takes longer than you realize i guess but i went to the dollar tree they didn't have any of the things that i got at home goods whatever i mean it's one less thing i have to worry about you know like returning this stuff but i did get some more containers I wanted to get a few more of these square plastic bins for under the sink out here in the kitchen and also in the guest bathroom. And then these are for the pantry. This was great because it was $1.25 for a two pack and these were a three pack also for $1.25. I swear anytime I need any kind of organization, I will always just go to the Dollar Tree. Anyway, I'm gonna put this stuff away and go make myself some lunch. That is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for being here through the process with me and being patient with me. I know I haven't been able to upload as much as I was hoping to. Now, by the time you're seeing this, I should have internet. So I should be able to post more consistently. But I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.